From the NBC 26 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After four straight days with highs only in the 50s or colder, we warm back up today. And overall, the warmer weather is here to stay. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be mainly in the mid to upper 70s, mid 70s on Thursday. It'll turn a little bit cooler on Friday, but then we'll start to warm up again as we move into the weekend with high temperatures rebounding back up into the 70s. This afternoon, just about everybody running 10, 15, 20 degrees warmer than what we saw just 24 hours ago when most of us were stuck in the 40s and 50s. Right now, temperatures across the area range from the 50s to the 80s. 82 degrees right now in Watoma compared to 52 in Sturgeon Bay. Yep, we've got a warm front. It's located about right here, and that is separating southwest winds from southeast winds coming in off the lake and the bay. In Green Bay, it is a southeast wind. That's why it's cooler, 66 degrees. We've had a lot of clouds during the afternoon. It's been showering on and off for about the last hour and a half, and temperatures are currently in the 60s. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows those showers and thunderstorms moving across the area right now. We had a cloud to ground lightning strike here just north of Shyocton about a half an hour ago or so. Nothing since then, but there is the possibility of another rumble of thunder or a flash of lightning before this activity pushes off towards the east during the next hour or so. Now, as we zoom in here just a little bit closer, you can see some of these showers have some heavy rain. Once again, maybe a rumble of thunder here across southern Brown County through western Manitowoc County, also moving through the Fox Cities and northern Lake Winnebago. That activity is developing along the warm front, which is once again bisecting the viewing area right now. To the north and west of us, we've got a cold front, and that'll move through later on tonight into tomorrow morning in between the warm front and the cold front. It was hot today. The first 90s of the year for the state of Wisconsin. These are the highs and current temperatures right now out towards the Mississippi River. Many spots are sitting in the lower half of the 90s. If you think that's hot, look at Minneapolis. 98 today. That is also the current temperature. And if you think that's hot in Sioux City, Iowa today, it was 104 degrees. We are not going to see that type of heat, but most of us will warm up tomorrow compared to what we saw today with a gusty westerly wind. It looks like just about everybody will be in the 70s. Precision cast shows that chance of a shower or a thunderstorm this evening. Then behind the cold front tomorrow, high pressure builds in, lots of sunshine, just beautiful weather, a little breezy at times. So this evening, maybe a shower or a thunderstorm, then clearing skies. Lows will be in the mid-50s. Tomorrow, sunny and breezy. Look for a high of 77. Mid-70s on Thursday, mostly sunny skies. On Friday, southeast winds and increasing clouds mean cooler temperatures mainly in the 60s. On Saturday, looks like lower 70s, a chance for a shower and or a thunderstorm. And then a better chance of rounds of showers and thunderstorms as we move through Sunday, Monday and Tuesday with highs in the 70s, cooling back into the 60s by next Tuesday. Well, we've got something exciting I want to tell you about tonight. It's our new weather page on NBC26.com. It's brand new. Our computer experts have been working on it for months and months and are ready to debut it. Some really cool uh, features on uh, NBC26.com right now, including an hourly forecast for any location in Northeast Wisconsin. If you live in Crivets, you can just type in your zip code and you'll get an hour by hour breakdown throughout the night into tomorrow. 10 days out, you can also get our video forecast. Of course, we have interactive radar, which is new and improved. We've got weather alerts on there that you can always check out. And of course, we've got our tower cams as well. And you know what the best part about this is? What? It's absolutely free. You know, <laughs> know. Paywalls, you don't have to pay anything. I punched in a little Swamico, it's great. I get exactly what I want. The best weather site here in Northeast Wisconsin at NBC26.com. Check, Check it, it out. out. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Cap. Right. Now let's take a look at